Hi, I'm Stephanie Tower. Never miss at the Bitcoin Beat. This is CoinGeek Pulse. Our headline this week, Bitcoin is money. This is the latest ruling of a federal court in Washington, D.C. It comes after the underground Bitcoin exchange Helix was charged with conspiracy to launder money and operate without a license. Alleged illegal operator Larry Dean Harmon argued to the court that Bitcoin is not money. However, the chief judge used a common definition of money, which is a method of payment, a medium of exchange, and a store of value. Their ruling stresses Bitcoin is these things. Bitcoin creator Dr. Craig Wright, also known as Satoshi Nakamoto, said that Bitcoin as a cash system is both property and money. A related story, Visa appears to be advancing its approach to digital currency. In its recent blog post, it says the company believes that digital currencies have the potential to extend the value of digital payments further. They add and we quote, we want to help shape and support the role they play in the future of money. Still in the U.S., its health agency confirmed that it is using the blockchain technology to track COVID-19 data. The Department of Health and Human Services stated it has several technologies including blockchain to power HHS Protect, a platform for combining and authenticating COVID-19 data. One of its officials says this allows for faster clinical trials and helps protect citizens. By doing so, the U.S. government can now quote, share with the general public how the results were generated because you have a record that is immutable. The official didn't disclose which blockchain HHS is using, but the agency confirms it is similar to an enterprise version being used by hyperledger-supported companies such as IBM. However, technical experts have pointed out that Hyperledger is not a blockchain technology. It is a private database. HHS is going in the right direction, but instead of a permissioned private database, they should consider using a public blockchain like Bitcoin SV so that users will have more trust in the data. And some good news! Blockchain Intelligence Group launched a Bitcoin SV on their forensic platform. The Vancouver-based publicly traded company added BSV on their two main services. Bitrank Verified provides financial organizations with a risk scoring service for wallets, addresses, and transactions. This allows a quick look at whether funds have been involved in illegal activities. Clue, on the other hand, performs due diligence and blockchain security investigations at greater forensic depth. Enterprises, law enforcement, banking and finance industries will surely benefit from these services. Blockchain Intelligence Group President Lance Morgan said these services provide all the tools necessary for any organization involved in digital currency compliance and investigations to perform their duties. Thank you for joining us this week. My name is Stephanie Tower. Visit CoinGeek.com so you never miss the Bitcoin Beat. You're watching CoinGeek Calls. My job is to get to grips with blockchain and digital money with the help of the smartest minds in the business. If I can understand what they're telling me, then I'm sure you will too. Join Charles Miller for CoinGeek Conversations every week. Subscribe.